Let's talk video. Um, it's mm -hmm. hot these days. Um, we know what happened with YouTube. Uh, sure. Where do you see it all going? Uh, what's what's the current big trend other than just more, more, more? Well, I mean, the foundation of the house, right, is how can you not be interested in a marketing channel that has such a vast, profound reach and has zero cost per action associated with it. So right off the bat, you're paying attention, right? Mm -hmm. You know, it makes sense. And then uh, there was a time when people thought, well, and corporations thought, well, you know, we can only release videos that meet this kind of traditional high production value standard. And, you know, we can't spend 30000 or 100000 per video. And now even those companies are realizing that all they need is, you know, someone in the office with a digital camera and a decent light. And, and that that has become sort of the new stand, accepted standard. Um, mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, in terms of where it's going, you, when you combine that with uh, uh, the universal search-like uh, uh, results of Ask and, uh, and, and Google, uh, Google, who's still in their infancy of that, uh, uh, by the way, uh, it's clear that this is now something that everybody has to pay attention to. Now, it's also the Wild West, and for guys like you and me that have been around such a long time, Thank God for that, because, Deja you know, vu. yeah, <laughs> but it also keeps it interesting for us, right? Because otherwise you're like, oh, made it sex, <laughs> yeah, you know, um, but this is, you know, it's a new platform, it's a new methodology, it's a, a, the issue of, of, of analytics and tracking uh, is wide open right now uh, and challenging. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, and within those types of dynamics, there's always a lot of opportunities as mm -hmm. well, but, but uh, this is something now when we talk to a prospective client, uh, this is on our inventory list uh, because it represents such quantifiable uh, value. And then people are also using it in ways that, that one might not immediately think of. Like for example, let's say that you're a company that has five corporate videos and of course we're going to market those for you and track those and report the benefit to the marketing of those right. videos. But let's say that in addition to that, you have found, because of whatever vertical you're in, and I'm intentionally keeping brand names out of this. Right. Um, that there's a sea of user-generated content about your content or similar content. Right. These companies are now hiring uh, agencies like ours to also find that video content, aggregate it, uh, tag it, and report it as a brand impression, which uh, exponentially magnifies you know, our efforts and uh, delivers outrageous, you know, brand impression uh, uh, value at, 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 at either zero or you know next to zero cost. cost. So, and that and that's something that we that we've recommended clients only recently, and that we're seeing clients do more and more because it, it makes sense. Uh, if, for example, if you're a TV station or a movie studio who's actually paying somewhere to show a particular clip, let's say even in the new YouTube uh, paid video uh, channel. And that exact clip is showing up in 20 iterations on the user uploaded side, and you can track those views. It's it, it's part of your overall marketing right. effort. So, yeah. and we're talking Google Universal earlier. It, it just changes the whole nature of the ball game. Uh, yeah. For organics, anyway. Well, oh. in so many ways, and here's one way that I haven't heard come up in conversation yet that we're dealing with. It also can be a, uh, you know the issue of brand reputation management within our industry where a corporation has someone say something negative about it and all of a sudden it's a real problem in the SERPs. And there's so many things that you can try and do to help push down that negative content or remove it. Well, Universal Search now is actually an additional tool for that between news releases and uh, video. To be uh, proactive about to, to to be proactive or or reactive as well in terms of you know anything that'll give you another push down of an inch or more whether it's a local business listing which is another technique or a, a news release which is another technique or one or you know or two videos two videos will push down the SERPs about what two two inches or so right so um, that's a way in which people uh, 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 there's you know slight key to the castle revealing there that people haven't really thought about uh, in terms of video search and as far as universal search goes. Interestingly, um, Ask is in a way sort of ahead of Google in terms of their deployment, whether it's actually working or not, let's say. Uh, but I saw some recent numbers that are very encouraging for them. They're saying publicly that they're seeing less uh, uh, page two views because, you know, ergo, uh, because people are more satisfied with the first page results than they previously were with the traditional uh, SERP. 
so that's all they need. Now, as far as Google Universal Search uh, results go, uh, I was lucky enough to hear uh, Eric Schmitz uh, speak at uh, a Soul Digital Forum uh, about this a couple months ago, and then even luckier to sort of corner him for about three minutes uh, as he looked very uncomfortable and awkward, you know, because there's a crowd, it's like, so, <laughs> you know, he couldn't move, right? And, uh, and I'm, I feel confident based on his talk, which really, you can find it by looking for it, but I don't hear anybody talking about it. Uh, outside of Soul Digital Forum, but you can, you can find that on the video search engines. Uh, between his talk and our brief conversation, I'm absolutely convinced that what we're seeing right now is like, it's, it's baby, you know, it's diapers time. Mm -hmm. There's so much more coming, uh, not to mention the integration of the personalization, behavioral, geotargeting, right. uh, et cetera, with uh, the universal results set. And Universal's only turned on for the state side right now. Um, it's not in Europe, not in Africa, any place else yeah. around the world. Yeah. So uh, there's another shoe to drop in all this. So yeah. They're still playing with it. Yeah. They're still playing with it. So. And what fascinates me is, uh, I mean, uh, we had a client call today, a uh, prospective client call. Uh, what fascinates me is how few major marketers, major corporations r really know about it. In our circle, you know, it's like, oh, this is old news. It's spanking brand new to so many um, uh, VPs, SVPs of marketing. Oh, yeah. We yeah. did a couple interviews here a couple months ago and uh, popped up. The blog was number one, uh, the video was number two, and our site was number three. And boy, did their competitors call us for more interviews. Oh, I mean, just, Brett, can you imagine? When you quantify this uh, uh, from a monetary standpoint, how much money somebody spent on a website and the marketing for that website? And here's a video that you know was pulled off YouTube. It's crazy. Yeah, one uh, two-minute video that they made on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, to that end, though, other than just getting the content out, this is very important. It's something uh, I talk about when I speak on these things. Uh, brands need to be uh, conscious of of branding that video experience, of having an initial brand experience in the first frame, of watermarking uh, right, each frame right, thereafter, yeah. and then spending the last five or ten seconds with. Uh, a teaser uh, mm -hmm. offer of some kind or incentive or a go-to, mm -hmm. uh, et cetera. And really, that is in its infancy. Hardly mm -hmm. anyone's doing that. Right. So, Well, speaking of uh, YouTube and coming in under the limit, uh, we're, we're at that magic 10-minute mark. So thank you for being with thank us. Thank you very much, Brad. Appreciate it. Very time. much appreciate it.